Hello everyone, myself Mitali Jin and in today's session we will learn about solar power meter. Order code is 17714A. The solar power meter is basically used to measure the solar radiations. So through this meter we can test the different parameters. So it is used in different fields such as metrology, in agriculture, in solar power plants and in different domains of solar area. So in this uh, session we will learn about how to use this apparatus and we will check the solar radiations uh, through this. This is our solar power meter. It is provided in a case. So you can open this case in this way. So you can open the case. So this is the case which is provided with the solar power meter. This is our solar power meter. and. Uh, this is a direction indicator. So, we will have a detailed description of these components. So, there are different features of the solar power meter. The solar power meter ha is, base is with orientation and tilt angle. It has a four digit and auto range measurement. And you can see that there is a max min and data hold, hold mode. Then after that it has 20 point memory auto data and recall button. Then after that auto transmission measurement is also provided and it has a low battery indicator and it has tripod sockets also. So the sensor which are used for this are a high sensitivity silicon photodiode which ranges from 0 to 2000 watt per meter square and its resolution varies from 0.00, .00 to 99.99 watt per meter square and different ranges are also provided. Its tilt angle ranges from 0 to 90 degree and at the rear panel you have to connect the battery. So in this way you can connect the battery. So to switch on its power we have to press the power button for 2 seconds. So you can see that this is its power button. And at the back end you can also note that this is the tripod socket and uh, this is a battery cover and it is a, it has uh, an anti slippery pad so that we can easily attach the uh, power meter. Then after that its main function follows as it main function follows as this it has six modes to toggle in the meter by using mode button so scan zero unit memory time transmission then again mode is switched so this all the things are mentioned in our user manual and when you will switch on the power meter so there are different modes such as this a point represent the recall b point represent the auto c point represent for maximum minimum and average value d point represent the scan e point represent the zero point and f point represent the memory G point represent the memory maximum and uh, H point represent the time, I point represent the transmission angle which is basically tilt angle and after, after that J point represent the data. Then after that there are different modes such as this is for uh, this is so this U is basically for memory down button this is mode you can select the different mode. So this W is for select and uh, to if you want to move upward so you have to select this button this is for hold and power button then after that there are the different modes which has been provided this is for battery and this is for maximum minimum this is for hold indication so this is the whole description of our front panel which is of the basic uh, LCD display and this is the probe which is provided this is the connecting probe which is connected with our uh, meter. So this probe has sensor, this is sensor, this is basically photovoltaic sensor and this is uh, the indicator for, which is basically used for indication, this is basically compass which is used for direction indication and this is a sensor cover which is provided. So this is the whole uh, setup. So you can see that when I am inside the room so it is showing the 0, 0 reading. I have came to an open area to check the variations so when we are in the closed area so like in the in a room so the reading which is nearly about zero so now we, when we came to open area so you can see that this is the reading now
so this is the reading and uh, you can see that when i'll vary when i'll tilt the sensor so i am tilting the sensor you, so you can see that angle is varying so you have to place the sensor in an accurate position so you can see that angle reaches to 46 and its minimum value is nearly about 27.16 and its actual value is 123.7 it's nearly about 125 watt per meter square so this is basically data 5 so if you want to select different modes so you can select by this so this is for zero mode so for zero mode it's 54 point it's nearly about 48 to 49 for unit mode it's nearly about 52 to 49 watt per meter square and this is a mean mode and this is for auto recall which i have set it to one second and this is transmission mode so you can see the variations in tra transmission mode and this is our scan mode so in this way you can take the different readings so this is our whole experiment which we have seen with the solar power meter Hence, this is all about today's session. For further query, you can contact to Tesca Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to our user manual. Thank you for watching the video.